welcome back to students to your English class. My name is Luzmilda, I am from Bonito Oriental, Colón, and I'm so glad to be here with you. Today's topic is Unreal Conditional Sentences with if clauses, negative and interrogative form. This class is for 10 graders, so please pay attention and let's start. Bienvenido de nuevo estudiantes a esta clase de inglés. Mi nombre es Luz Milda y estoy muy agradecida de estar con ustedes. El tema de hoy es oraciones con el condicionante irreal en su forma negativa e interrogativa. Esta clase es para alumnos de décimo grado, así que por favor presten mucha atención. Empecemos. Remember guys, stay at home, put on your face mask to cover your nose and mouth, and always wash your hands. Our objectives are, number one, learn about the uses of unreal conditional with if clauses in negative and interrogative sentences. Aprender sobre el uso del condicionante irreal utilizando if. Number two, develop some negative and interrogative sentences using the unreal conditional with if clauses. Desarrollar algunas oraciones negativas e interrogativas usando el condicionante irreal. Let's start. Today we will talk about unreal conditional in negative and interrogative sentences. Hoy hablaremos del condicionante real en oraciones negativas e interrogativas. If you remember, in the previous class, we learned that the unreal conditional is used to refer to unreal, imaginary, or impossible condition, and the results using the clause if with the verb in simple past. And in the result clause, we use the modal auxiliary verbs would, might, or could, and the main verb in the infinitive form without to. Si ustedes recuerdan, en la clase anterior aprendimos que las oraciones con el condicional irreal se usan para referirse a condiciones irreales, imaginarias o imposibles, y sus resultados usando en la cláusula la condición el verbo en el pasado simple y en la cláusula de resultado utilizamos los verbos modales would, might o could y el verbo principal en su forma infinitiva sin el to. Here we have negative form with one negative clause. Number one, if I were in New York, I wouldn't meet you. Si yo estuviera en Nueva York, yo no te conocería. Number two, if you were a poor man, you couldn't buy anything. Si tú fueras un hombre pobre, tú no podrías comprar nada. If we weren't astronauts, we might be teachers. Si nosotros no fuésemos astronautas, nosotros seríamos docentes. Now guys, repeat after me please. Number one, if I were in New York, I couldn't meet you. Okay, excellent. Number two, repeat after me. If you were a poor man, you couldn't buy anything. Very good. Number three, if we weren't astronauts, we might be teachers. Excellent. Let's continue. Okay. We can also use the negative form in both clauses. También se pueden utilizar la forma negativa en ambas cláusulas. Por ejemplo, number one. If you weren't rich, I wouldn't travel around the world. Si yo no fuese rico, yo no viajaría alrededor del mundo. Ustedes pueden observar que en ambos son negativos. Antes de la coma y después de la coma. Number two. 
If I didn't win the lottery, I wouldn't buy a new car. Si no ganara la lotería, no me compraría un auto nuevo. Number three. If he were not tall, he wouldn't be a model in the United States. Si él no fuese alto, él no sería modelo en los Estados Unidos. Now guys, repeat after me the sentences, please. Number one. If I weren't rich, I wouldn't travel around the world. Excellent. Number two. If I didn't win the lottery, I wouldn't buy a new car. Very good. Number three. If he were not tall, he wouldn't be a model in the United States. Excellent. You are great students. Now, guys, we are going to talk about interrogative form. To make questions, the formula is question words like what, where, how, plus auxiliary, plus verb, infinitive, plus if, plus verb, simple past, remember, and questions mark. Vamos a formar preguntas utilizando la fórmula con palabras de preguntas como cuál, por qué, dónde. Más el auxiliar, más el verbo infinitivo, más if, más el verbo en pasado simple. Y por último, el signo de interrogación. Por ejemplo, number one. What would you do if you want a lottery? I would buy a house. ¿Qué harías si ganaras la lotería? Yo compraría una casa. Number two. Where would you live if you moved to the U.S.? I will live in Seattle. Here we have another example. If you had any superpower, what would it be? Si pudieras tener algún superpoder, ¿cuál sería? Next. What would you do if you spoke English perfectly? ¿Qué harías si pudieras hablar inglés perfectamente? Imagine, guys. Next. If you won the lottery, what would you buy? Si ganaras la lotería, ¿qué comprarías? Uf, many things, guys. Next, if you change one thing about your past, what would you change? Si cambiarías una cosa de tu pasado, ¿qué cambiarías? Imagine, guys. Now, repeat after me. If you had any superpower, What will it be? Very good. Next, what would you do if you spoke English perfectly? Very good. If you want a lottery, what would you buy? Very good. Next, if you change one thing about your past, what would you change? Excellent. Now, guys, we are going to practice with a game. What would you do if? Imagine what would you do if you practice all these activities. Complete a sentence as you advance. For example, the number one. If you had a pot of gold, what would you do? ¿Qué haría si tuvieran un tarro de oro? ¿Qué comprarían? ¿Lo venderíamos? Imagine. Here we have another sentence. If you knew Japanese, what would you do? Si conocieran un japonés, ¿qué harían? If you were a superhero like Spider-Man, for example, ¿qué harían si fueran como el hombre araña? Imagine, now imagine if you have children, what would you do? Here we have another, 
If you were the president of the United States, what would you do? Imagine. Or if you made a great invention, what would you do? Imagine. Okay, guys. Uh, now we have here another sentence. Um, now we have another here. If you rob a bank, imagine. Excellent thinking. You will buy full clothes. Okay. Excellent, guys. Please copy all that in your notebooks. Okay, guys. Here we have the homework. In your notebook, complete the sentences by writing the correct missing word. Remember, you can use would, might, or could in the result clause. And in the conditional clause, the verb in simple pass. Uh, here we have at the end of the sentences in the parentheses negative or interrogative. Okay. If I were you, I talk about that with her. Daríamos esa en negativo. Al final de la oración tenemos entre paréntesis qué tipo de oración es la que vamos a formar. Si es negativa o interrogativa. ¿Sí? Recuerden utilizar las cláusulas. time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you had fun during this lesson. Remember, we want you studying at home. Take care of yourself and your family. See you in the next class. Bien, es tiempo de despedirnos. Gracias por mirar este video y espero que se hayan divertido durante este aprendizaje. Recuerden, los queremos estudiando en casa. Cuídense y cuiden a sus familias. Nos vemos en la siguiente clase.